He was blinded by another bull in a fight. While the fight was going on, the other bull stabbed Pablo in both eyes, taking one of them out of the socket. The fight was eventually broken up by the bull caretakers. They sewed up the empty socket and put an eye patch over the other eye. They eventually couldn't afford his medication anymore and sent him to Fort Worth, Texas. While there, he accidentally escaped from where he was being held. He wanders around for, the, for three days until he meets the drug dealing cat Six. Six is, Six the cat is a drug dealing cat from Stop Six. Come to the front, we can't see y'all. Six from killing Six calls in an attempted drug bust. He ended up meeting Pablo the Bull, who comes looking for work. He tells Six that he's blind, so Six gives him the job of being his bodyguard, and in return, Six will be Pablo's eyes. A few months after meeting, the cops received intel of Six's whereabouts in order for an immediate takedown. During the bust, Six and Pablo escape and head south to go to Mexico. Stop, stop. They rest in the farmhouse, unaware of what dangers are in the farm. When they wake in the morning, they realize that no one is home. The main danger on the farm is that Jason, the scarecrow, he may not seem like a danger being a scarecrow and all, but he is the reason there is nobody on the farm. One day, a magical crow that was not scared of him. The crow brought him to life, but the magic that was used was dark magic. When he, be, when he came to life, he waited for something to get near him so he could kill it. With every kill, he spattered some of his victim's blood on his face as a memoir of each kill. He killed the farmer and set up his body to use as a Jason had an uneasy feeling like he always did when someone came near the farm. He found out that it was a bull and a cat that came on the farm. He devised a plan to set up traps to catch the children. Pablo and, his, and Six have an uneasy, uneasy feeling about the farm, like they were being watched and ha haunted. They came across some of the traps and set them up to catch Jason. After three days of resetting traps, they finally catch Jason and kill him. They stay on the farm working and drug dealing while hiring workers and making a mass drug dealing company. The end.